I banish you from these waters. The poison that bubbles thick in your mind and your fangs are a fatal threat to the peace and joy of these beautiful shores. Leave instantly and never return. Five thousand years ago, a most wonderful boy came to make the beautiful land of Rindavan his home. He spent all the years of his blissful childhood here, filling the hearts of the inhabitants of Rindavan with pure love for him. Along with them, he performed amazing pastimes and left his lotus footprints in the dust of these enchanting forests. These sylvan groves, these cobbled streets and friendly homes, these picturesque banks of the river Yamuna, to tell the stories of his wondrous feats. His enduring pastimes have been recorded in the ancient Sanskrit classic from India the Bhagavata Purana. These stories have enthralled generations of eager readers and have carved a special place for Krishna, darling of Vrindavan, in their hearts.
to collect a big basket of this lovely fruit as a special gift for Nanda Maharaj. That's so thoughtful of you, Subala. Look how hard Mother Wangal is working. Yeah. He's giving himself a lot of special gifts. I just can't think of anything else but this. <laughs> Subala, you deserve to take a nap as well. Good idea, brother. I'm for that. But Krishna, I'm not done yet. I'll take care of it, Subala. Enough fruit for me to give everyone. Yes, who could have possibly done this? <laughs> so you made the miracle, Daddy Loba. <laughs> Glory is to Daddy Loba. <laughs> <laughs> Monsoon sets in by the end of the week. See that the best seeds are distributed to all the farmers to ensure a bountiful harvest. Yes, my lord. Nanda Maharaj! Nanda Maharaj! Help! Sukanta, what has happened? Maharaj Nanda, it was terrible. A, a great serpent rose out of the Yamuna. It had many heads. Poison spewed from everyone. My cows, they are poison. You speak of a terrible danger. What is this misfortune that has come upon us? Gather all the able-bodied men immediately. I will lead them to the Yamuna. See that the women and children are safely in their houses. Yes. Send word to all cow herds by the river to return to the village with their herds. Oh no. What's the matter, Yashoda? Rati saw Krishna and Balram watering the calves today by the Yamuna. Subala, Madhu Mangal, Hamsi and Dadi! We must hurry. No time to waste. Uh, Krishna may be in danger. We must get there to help him. Yes, let's go. Along, Hamsi. Krishna and the others are waiting. <laughs> Hamsi!
Hansi! Hansi, please! You can't even swim! You need to learn to come when you're cold, little Hansi. With all those mangoes in your belly, you'll sink like a boulder. The Yamuna's water is so cool! suffering to my friends. I will not tolerate this. Be prepared to face your end. I said the children must be in a safe place. <coughs> Balram, you're all right. <coughs> Where is your brother? <coughs> What's happened to you, Shota? We must try to save him. No! No, no, father! It's too dangerous! But, <coughs> Krishna! Krishna!
Krishna. No, Nanda Maharaj, it's too dangerous. Let me go. I cannot stand by and watch this. Look. Krishna is flying his float. Listen. and in spirit. Krishna, you have forced all the poison out of him and he is no longer a threat. Is this true, Kalil? I beg your f forgiveness, Krishna. My venom was poisoning my mind. Now I can see more clearly. You have helped me see that I was blinded by my own hate and anger. Very well. I will forgive you, Kalia. Provided you go off to the ocean and never return to Vrindavan again. But Krishna, without his venom, he is defenseless. How will he protect us from danger? Krishna, we fear for his life and ours. He has angered the mighty eagle Garuda. Garuda will never harm him when he sees my footprints on his head. just having a long swim. You are so mysterious, my child. But I have no need to understand you. You are my dearest, darling Krishna. And so Krishna, the magical boy of Vrindavan, danced his way into the hearts of his readers who still cherish this pastime today. <laughs>